I'm next weather meteorologist Lissette Gonzalez and we do have some tornado warnings that have just been issued. We have one that is set to expire at 10 a.m. This is further inland near I-75, but I do want to focus on this tornado warning that now includes parts of Broward County where we do have populated areas and the National Weather Service just issuing this warning for central Broward and this is due to a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado located near the east toll gate on Alligator Alley or 11 miles west of Pembroke Pines. It's moving north at 25 miles per hour, and I'm reading you this information as I just received this from the National Weather Service. So locations impacted include Pembroke Pines, Miramar, Weston, Mile Marker 30 on Alligator Alley, Intersection Alligator Alley, and Miami Canal East Tollgate on Alligator Alley and Intersection there of I-75 and US-27. So please stay inside, take cover now, head to the most interior room on the lowest floor of your home or a building and you want to wait until these dangerous storms pass. This particular tornado warning, which does encompass portions of Broward County here near Weston, is until 1015 AM. The one that's out further west, which is more towards the Everglades and more of an unpopulated area is until 10 AM. But this tornado warning is the one that I really want you to pay attention to uh, because we are going to continue to see some of these gusty squalls. We are under a tornado watch but the, again, in terms of this severe storm that's moving through, we could see some flying debris if this does spawn a tornado. And as we mentioned from the National Weather Service, they're issuing this as a precaution because when anytime we have a tropical system, of course, we have Hurricane Milton that's in the Gulf of Mexico, and we have those bands that are wrapping around Milton and already beginning to impact South Florida. We could get some spin and rotation in the atmosphere. So as for right now, we're seeing a lot of lightning over Weston, and that storm is quickly lifting northward. But of course, this is something that we're going to continue to keep an eye on for you. And not only that, we have a tornado watch that is in effect. That is until 9 p.m. This is for all of South Florida as we're going to be dealing with the potential for more severe storms that could spawn tornadoes. So this is something new as of today that the National Weather Service has issued. This was actually expected. As I mentioned, whenever we have a tropical system nearby or moving over us, we do tend to see tornadoes developing. And we've already had multiple tornadoes issued even overnight and earlier this morning. So I do want to get back for those of you who may be just joining us on our next weather radar network. We're now seeing another tornado warning popping up. That's well inland and off to the west. But again, this one, which is near Weston and Southwest Ranches, is the one that we need to pay close attention to because it is now nearing more of the populated areas and it is lifting northward. And we are seeing that it is a pretty intense and dangerous storm. So if you can, if you live in Weston, Southwest Ranches, any neighborhoods near this storm, which is now seeing that we have a tornado warning in effect here until 10:15 a.m. that you want to stay inside and wait until the storms pass.